Um, so anyways, basic, basically the main important thing, guys, is I see a number in front. Whenever you see a number in front and you're trying to condense, then we know that we can rewrite that as log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of x squared. Right? You take the 2 and you bring it up top. Minus log base 3 of 27. Now, there's a couple things that we can go ahead and do with this. All right? The next thing <coughs> is you guys see that we have two logarithms that are separated by addition. When we have two logarithms that are separated by addition, we can rewrite them as the product using one logarithm. So that would be log base 3 of x times x squared minus log base 3 of 27. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you have x times x squared, going back to the rules of exponent, that equals what? x cubed. So you could have log base 3 of x cubed minus log base 3 of 27. Now, there's two different ways that I'd like you guys to understand how we could rewrite the, uh, this final answer. You now see that you have the division, right? Or, I'm sorry, subtraction. So you could use the division property, which would be log base 3 of x cubed over 27, which would look like this. Don't erase it. I'm not. Or you can also see that, ladies and gentlemen, can we evaluate? Whenever you have a logarithm and you see it's just numbers, always look to as far as evaluate. Can we take 3 raised to a number and get 27? 3. So you can also just rewrite this as log base 3 of x cubed minus 3. You can also just evaluate it. And then, once it's subtracting, then we can't use the rules of exponents. We can't use those.